President Obama says he is very serious about cracking down on Al Qaeda, but the fight seems to spread from country to country. And back with us now to pick up our conversation. David, you know, the president said Al Qaeda, a nimble organization, but I, I heard you earlier describe this as whack a mole. Smack them down in one place, they pop up somewhere else. Uh, Gary, just during the commercial break, made a point to me that, you know, our military, our intelligence services are stretched so thin. They're in the middle of dealing with two wars right now, two hot wars. How on earth? Do they deal with this? If this is the issue, they can't just be bouncing from place to place. This is one of the toughest problems we face as a country right now, and it sits very squarely on the desk of General David Petraeus, who has the, the central command that oversees, has the umbrella for uh, a variety of countries that all of which now seem to be, or many of which seem to be inflamed with this. And what happened, we, you know, we went into Afghanistan to go after Al Qaeda. We really gave them a hard hit. They just slipped across the border into Pakistan. We then went into uh, Iraq, and suddenly there were more a terrorist there. Uh, Afghanistan got worse. We went back into Afghanistan. Now we've got terrorists who've, uh, who's, who the terrorists growing in, in Yemen. And we discovered that when the Saudis went after their homegrown terrorists, they went into Yemen. Uh, and when we go after them in Yemen, they're going over to Somalia. That's the whack-a-mole uh, quality of this, uh, Campbell. And I don't think anybody has a good answer for it right now. It is going to be, it is the second part, and in fact, it's the bigger part of all of this. Yes, we need to stop them coming into our homeland, but first of all, we need to stop them from being, you know, deciding they want to go, you know, kill themselves to come to come hit us, uh, and that means we have to we have to win this struggle on war terrorism against terrorism or war against terrorism, whatever you want to call it, doesn't make any difference. We've got enemies out there, and they are popping up and it, they're spreading like a cancer, and it's a very very hard problem for the U.S. military, especially when we're stretched thin. I don't think we have the answers, but I think it's what's going to preoccupy many people in the Obama administration in the, in the coming months and maybe even years. Gary, I know this is, I know you feel this deeply as a former intelligence officer. The CIA is getting a lot of criticism right now because of this, which I know you also don't think is entirely deserved. It's, it's not large enough. The organization is not large enough to, to handle this problem. The clandestine service is a very small service. What we need to develop in the United States is a directorate of strategic services, like we had during the OSS period in World War II. SOCOM in the military, or something like that, needs to be given expanded authorities, many of the, the authorities that CIA has in the, in the realm of covert action. Leave CIA to do the FI collection and let the covert action be done by this new organization. And McCain, and McCain wanted to create a DSS. That was part of his campaign platform, a director of strategic services. I've written about that as well. We're going to have to do that in this fight if we want to win. Gary, isn't it, isn't, can't the special forces and, uh, and the Pentagon do a lot of that? Why are, Can't they carry out a lot of this covert activity? I thought they were already going after uh, some of these Al-Qaeda guys. Special forces is designed to do two things. It works with indigenous forces, and it also does um, CAS, close air support. It doesn't do the types of things I'm talking about. I'm talking about a, a, an expanded military uh, organization that will spot, assess, develop, recruit sources and do lethal operations at the same time. And special forces doesn't do that. Mm -hmm. They don't do that. They do the training of foreign forces and they fight alongside of them. And then they also will do close air support, and, and which they did when we invaded Afghanistan. But you need to go beyond that. What about all the drones we've been using? We've been going after a lot of al-Qaeda with drones. That, that, that's, a that piece, coming... that's a piece of this. Right. And CIA will do that alongside the U.S. military. But a, a new organization with expanded authorities, and I know the CIA would hate to hear me say this, that we need something like this. And I know SOCOM would love to have this. And, and I think that this is probably where we're going to need to go in the end. We'll see. It's a, that's a big hill to climb, I think, for Congress and this administration right now. Uh, David Gergen and, and Gary Bernson, though, appreciate your insight, Gary. Thanks again. Thank you.